Hello everybody and welcome to this chapter on symmetry for the Mathematics Standard 7 pertaining to the NCRT syllabus. Now let us quickly go over to the topics that I am going to discuss today. First, I will be giving you a basic idea of the word symmetry. What, what is the basic meaning, the fundamental idea that the word symmetry conveys to us? Then we quickly discuss what are the various applications of symmetry. And then I will be describing you the two types of symmetry that is prescribed in the chapter that is the line symmetry and the rotational symmetry. Now please note that symmetry can be defined in multiple fields of mathematics. The one that we are going to cover here is symmetry as we understand in the field of in the discipline of geometry. So uh, I will be giving you quick ideas on I mean what do we mean by line symmetry and what do we mean by rotational symmetry. So having discussed that, then we will go into the details of the line symmetry in which I will be describing what is line of symmetry and the second will be how do we find out lines of symmetry for the regular polygons. So I will also tell you what regular polygons are. We will quickly recap this portion here. Having done that, our next discussion would be the details of rotational symmetry in which I describe what do we mean by rotation and what how I mean how do you define rotational symmetry for the regular polygons having discussed that we move on to the objects that have line and rotational symmetry that is, that is we study the objects that have both line as well as rotational symmetry and then we'll just quickly summarize whatever our learnings are there so now let's go on to the basic idea of symmetry I mean what do we understand by symmetry so let, let me ask you a question. Um, if somebody says, wow, this thing is beautiful, what does that word imply? Or we say, wow, this is so very well balanced. What does it imply? What are you seeing? Are you, I mean, is, is it, what is it that you're trying to convey beyond the words beautiful and that? Is it, is it related to a sense of proportion, to a sense of well balancedness? So that is what precisely symmetry is. So the general meaning of symmetry is associated with a sense of proportion, beauty and harmony. That's how we generally mean by symmetry. And when we go on to define the mathematical meaning of symmetry, it implies a concept of balance, okay, balance or similarity that can be understood, note the words understood and proved using mathematics. For example, in this chapter we are going to use geometry to study the symmetry. So that is the mathematical meaning of symmetry. Now let us try to understand symmetry using a few examples from the textbook. So the first example consists of a front portion of a building. Okay, And uh, now if you see that there is this line which divides the building in precisely two parts. Let's call the starting line of this as point A and this is where the line end is the point B. And let me denote this portion. There are two portions into which this figure is divided by this line. Let me call this portion as the right hand side portion and let me call this as the left hand side portion. Now what is so special about this line? It is dividing this figure into exactly two parts and an interesting phenomena or an interesting observation that about this line is that if you fold this figure along this line like this, that is you fold the right hand side over the left hand side then what you will see is that this will superimpose perfectly on this part and what you get is this half figure, folded figure on this side. Similarly, if you fold the left hand side on the right hand side, it will fold perfectly and you get this side. You will be able to see just this half side of it. So now this line, this line, right, which is dividing the figure into two parts, okay, such that when I'm folding one of the parts along this line of symmetry, then figures are exactly coinciding with each other, right. So this is called as the line of symmetry. Not just that, 
you can also call the line of symmetry as an axis of symmetry. Let me just write it here. Axis. A-X-I-S. Axis of symmetry. So uh, this is one example. The other example shows the front portion of a car. Again, we have this line which is dividing this car into two parts, the front portion. And again, when I fold this portion over here, it will completely coincide with this part. Or similarly, when I fold this one over here, it will again coincide. So again, this figure is said to exhibit symmetry. Similarly, you can also find examples of symmetry in nature. For example, if you see a tortoise and I draw a line, horizontally such that it goes through the middle line AB through the tortoise and if I fold the bottom to the top then again we will have a perfectly coinciding figure a half size or similarly if I just fold from up to down it's still the same part so this is the example of symmetry now let us see the various applications of symmetry okay so the thing is, you just need to look around for symmetrical designs and shapes. Most of the time, archi architects, designers and artists, they use a lot of symmetry. And of course, nature also uses a lot of symmetry. You just need to see the leaves, different leaves, or you may also find lots of shapes in nature which are symmetrical. Okay, and you can also find out lots and lots of uses of symmetry in our daily lives. I was just trying to figure out, I mean, where is it that I can find symmetrical designs? I was just having a look around myself and I saw that this computer monitor in front of me, I can just simply draw a line of symmetry, cutting it in two halves and it's symmetrical. Then I have a lock, a door, my building and I mean, there are most of the things that I see here have symmetry in one form or the other. So, of course, symmetry provides us with beautiful designs and you can also use it in multiple applications as, as we see in our day-to-day -day lives. So, that was on.